Beautiful day here. Got the rig all, got the boat all rigged up, and uh, just waiting on my roommate to use the bath bathroom, and then we're gonna go hunt some rockfish. See you in a sec. Was that a one pull start that I just heard? The first one wasn't a real pull. Everyone knows that. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're out at Half Moon Bay again. Got my roommate here as well. We're gonna go for some rockfish. The goal today is to hopefully load up that cooler. Apparently there's a small craft advisory, but look around guys, it's beautiful, it's sunny. There's only like five miles per hour of wind at the moment. So we're gonna go out there and see if we can make it happen. Anything to say to the audience? We're gonna catch some fish, I hope. We're gonna catch some fish, I hope. That's a lot of confidence right there. <laughs> All right guys, we're coming up on uh, what I think is the new salmon that they're gonna release this year. Coastside Fishing Foundation Salmon Smolt Acclimation Net Pen. Yeah, so this is a, these are all baby salmon in here. You can actually see them jumping. Oops, yep. let's get a little bit away from. Anyways guys, this is where they put the baby salmon before they're ready to release them into the ocean. But uh, we saw a couple small ones jumping, so this is pretty cool. Um, this is why Half Moon Bay has good salmon fishing. They release salmon here and then the salmon swim back here thinking it's their home their home stream to lay their eggs. So all thanks to these guys, we get, we get to catch salmon. All right, guys, we made it to the first spot. Let me show you the rig I'm gonna be using for today. On the trusty eight foot power stick, I have, I believe this is a, a six ounce jig head with one of these big curly tail grubs, that's the eight inch. And then I've also got this uh, little Kai Tech up here as well. And uh, this is what I'm throwing, guys. So I'm just gonna cast it out and uh, we'll see how we do. I'm gonna let this sink all the way to the bottom and I'm just gonna kind of jig it slowly over, over the reef. Forgot my fish finder today, so I don't know how deep it is. Can't exactly see the bottom structure, but I've got a pretty good idea of where the rockfish are. So I think, uh, I think we'll be all right. It should be about 50, 60 feet deep here. Oh, look at this, dude. Look, they've got something floating in the water over there. Where? See that? No. It's like a solar panel or something. All right, guys, we just saw something cool in the water. Let's go check it out. Guys, check this out. It's like a little, uh, it's definitely motorized. It's, it's, it's like a little research thing. I'm not sure what it is, but uh, yeah, it's I don't know where it's going or what it's doing, but that's pretty cool. Let's take a picture of this. Ah. Whew. All right, guys, second spot. We're gonna drop down here. Only about five, six minutes away from the old, old one. And sometimes that can make all the difference. Oh, I don't know. That felt like a fish. Oh, wait, no, I was just stuck on a little rock. Never mind, guys. Never mind. Guys, it's rocky here, y'all. This is exactly what we want. It's got to be rocky. It's got to have deep, nice water. And it's got to be fishy, guys. That's it. Three criteria. This is how to get behind the snag. You just drive behind it pull from the other direction most of the time you'll get your real your lure back did you lose it not yet got another angle to try sometimes you just gotta let them, they don't call them anglers for no reason <laughs> there we go that's what i'm talking nice. about nice. so i'm talking about in this spot or not yeah, we can fish here. It's all kind of rocky in this area. There's just like sporadic reefs, I think. Is that a snag or? That was uh, Just say it was a bite. <laughs> we got the camera rolling, man. Just say it was a bite. There we go. There we go. First fish. First fish. You got something. Yeah, I got something. You want to grab the net for me? Oh, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. Yeah, it's a good fish. It's a keeper. We're gonna keep it, whatever it is. Where's your bomb stick? Go give me ahead. this, give me this. 
<laughs> oh no, it's a lean. Oh. It's gonna be short. It's short, yeah. Small. Little baby lean. <sighs> Woo! First fish. Nice. First fish, guys. How deep are you? I was on the bottom. I don't know. 50. It's we're like 50, 60 feet of water right now. Let me grab the uh, gripper so I can pull them out and show you guys. I know I'm a baby. I don't like grabbing lean cod. They got big teeth. I don't like grabbing most fish actually, but. There we go. Hook out. Yeah, nice healthy lean, but I don't think it's going to meet the 22 inch requirement. Probably won't even measure this guy. He's a little too small to keep and I want to catch him again later in the season when he's fat or next year. But look guys, he's got a little octopus inside his, inside his mouth there. Can you guys see? Man, one beautiful fish. You want to take a picture for me? Yeah. All right, we're good. <laughs> All right, guys, he's going back in now. He, uh, I think he started going to, to the bathroom on me, y'all. But there he goes. Woohoo! And he splashed us on the way out. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. First fish in the boat. Nice. I'd really like some rockfish. I'm not complaining or anything, fish gods, but I really would like some rockfish. Ooh, the coffee's a little salty because the salt water's all over my face. It's pretty tasty. If you guys come out here in a small boat, just make sure to scan the horizon every once in a while. Make sure no boats are coming towards you. Make sure you're not drifting into someone else's boat. Make sure there's no big rogue waves coming. Yeah. That's what we worry about a lot. Oh. Oh, that's one. You got one. You got one. Nice, nice, nice. Keep going, keep going, keep reeling, keep reeling. Oh, that's, just, that's just a baby. You can just bring them in. Here, tilt your rod up. That'll keep, though. That'll keep. Rockfish don't have a size limit. At least these ones don't. Look at that, guys. Caught our first oh, rockfish, the <laughs> first keeper of the day. All right, guys, we got a nice little black rockfish, I think, or is this a blue? Maybe you guys can tell me in the comments. But uh, that was caught in shrimp fly, tipped with a little bit of squid. We're gonna put them in the cooler now. I don't know how, but I've, what? I've somehow, in Google Maps, I've decided to search my way to Oregon <laughs> while it was in my pocket. All right, guys, we're here at, I think, the sixth and maybe the final spot out today. Um, we've each got one fish each and uh it's just kind of kind of rough out now so we're probably gonna start heading back in although i'm seeing another boat right behind you guys just leaving so uh, maybe he got word of a good rockfish bite but he's a little faster than us all right guys we're switching things up we're gonna start trolling now and we're just gonna troll for halibut back into the harbor it's um it's uh it's a little windy so we're gonna go ahead and uh call it as far as rock fishing is concerned, and we'll troll back in. All right, guys, here we are back on, on land. A really slow day of fishing, just one fish each for the two of us. It was a little windy out there, a little hectic. It was good to get out, but hopefully next time we get more fish. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next video. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching my 365 day fishing challenge. If you want to watch from the beginning, just click up here. If uh, you want to see the latest video I have posted, click up here. And as always, have a good day.